Does God hear your prayers? Does the Lord answer your prayer? Thanks for joining me on my morning prayer walk. 100 days of signs and wonders, miracles all found in the Bible. From the days of Moses crossing the Red Sea to Joshua stepping out in faith to cross the Jordan River. We see God working in the hearts and lives of all people of all generations. This morning on my morning prayer walk, I'm out at Dry Creek enjoying the autumn breeze. It's a little cool. The leaves are starting to change color. The creek is running, it makes a beautiful background sound. And of course, you can hear the birds. Beautiful place to read the Bible and meditation. My heart is so filled as I read through the story of Peter and John. It's the next chapter after the day of Pentecost, chapter three. They were on their way to the temple in Acts chapter three. When they came across to man, this man needed a miracle. Sometimes what people want isn't what they ask for. Peter and John were on the way to the temple in the afternoon to take prayer, take part in the three o'clock prayer service. As they approached the temple, a man lame from birth was being carried in. Each day, the lame man sat beside the temple gate so that he could beg people for money. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Isn't that something? Sometimes what people ask for isn't really what they need. As I've been praying and walking and enjoying this beautiful early autumn morning, I've been reflecting on this story and saying, Lord, let my heart be open. Give me understanding. Give me insight today as I face daily challenges that you might guide me with your word to the life of men like Peter and John. And the first thing the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart and said is sometimes what people ask for isn't really what they need. Everything inside the heart of a father on the birth of a child is to give them everything they ask for. But in reality, if I did, they would eat pizza and ice cream each and every day. Number one, I wrote in my prayer journal today, what people want may not be what they need. Number two, I wrote in my prayer journal, Peter and John did not even attempt, nor were they distracted from their inability to meet someone else's expectations. Sometimes we live our lives frustrated and heavily in debt, trying to please everybody else. And quite frankly, you really don't have the ability to do so. They didn't even try. Number three, I wrote in my prayer journal that they were filled with the Holy Spirit. They knew who they were and they knew what they had just experienced on the day of Pentecost found in Acts chapter two. And lastly, they stopped, they stood, and they prayed with great confidence in the name of Jesus. Peter said, silver and gold do I not have, but what I have I give unto thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Well, there it is in a nutshell. Does God answer prayer? He sure does. Will God answer your prayer today? Don't be distracted with your inability to provide everybody else's expectations. You can't afford it. They'll be disappointed and you'll be frustrated trying to please everybody. It's not going to happen. But you know who you are. You're a child of the King and he's filled you with the Holy Spirit. You walk and put your trust in him.
And when you come against something that is overwhelming, like a man lame from birth, stop, stand, and pray in the name of Jesus. Today, God's going to do a miracle in your life. As you reach out to other people, knowing who you are in Christ and speaking the name of Jesus. Lord, I align my spirit, my mind, my heart, and my thoughts to heaven. I ask, O oh Father, for your anointing upon each heart today. With the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, empowered by your spirit, let signs, wonders, and miracles flow as we pray wherever we're at in the name of Jesus. Amen. God loves you. So do I. As I continue my morning prayer walk, I'll be praying God's grace and peace would go before you and fill you as his face shines upon you. Be blessed today.